Hi, welcome back to Automotive Solutions. And today I've got a BMW X5, 2009. I'm just going to have a go with my gauges again. So I just want to do a, a comparison test for a vacuum test compared to a pressure test. So I've got my gauges on it. Um, I've put it under a vacuum. Let's see it for a couple of minutes. It's on 904 microns, which is a small percentage of one PSI. I can't give you exact details, but it's not a lot. Um, I've set the alarm on the gauges to go off at 1,025 microns. Um, and it's been running for a couple of minutes. So I'm just monitoring the vacuum levels. And it's not moving a lot at the moment. It's not been running long. But the um, this came to me empty. So uh, pretty sure it's going to have a leak because it was gassed a couple of years ago, apparently. So under vacuum, it's not really moving much. So if you've got an all-in-one machine or you you rely on a vacuum pump, this is not moving. So you would you would assume this is uh, this is going to hold. So I'm going to I'm going to do a pressure test as well, and then we can compare 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 results and see what happens. But I'll let it run a bit longer and see if the vacuum test does actually show up a leak. But at the moment, it's not doing a lot at all. So, yep, I'll come back to you. So 12 minutes in, we've gone up by about 10 microns. And I looked it up, 10 microns is a one thousandth of a PSI. So uh, it's an absolute tiny amount. Doesn't prove a leak whatsoever. So I'm going to go for a bit of nitrogen pressure test and see what happens from there. Okay, got this one under some uh, nitrogen pressure. And we're up to 135 PSI. So I'm just going to go for the tightness test feature, which starts the timer and takes the pressure of the low side and it also monitors the suction line temperature so that it can convert any pressure drop due to temperature and so it doesn't affect the, uh, the overall reading. So I'm going to leave this for 10-20 minutes. While I'm doing that, I might probably give the uh, condenser a little spray of some bubble solution. It looks pretty corroded, so I'll see what's happening and uh, see if we get a pressure drop. Start the test running. And that's our timer running. Temperature, temperature difference and any pressure drop difference on there. So yeah, I'll have a little look around while it's under pressure and come back. Twenty minutes later, uh pressure differential we've dropped 0.7 psi. Doesn't sound a lot. Uh temperature's dropped 1.6 degrees, but the uh, software inside the manifold compensates that. So the actual relative pressure relating to the temperature has actually dropped overall by 0.7 of a bar. Uh, yeah, 0.7 psi. Sorry. So yeah, it's a small leak, and sure enough, I've had a little uh, spray. Just had a little spray under here. Ignore the green colour. That's just the colour of my leak detector fluid. A bit unfortunate. It looks like dye. I'll try and zoom you in up here. If I can get it to focus. Hopefully, you'll see the bubbles. See it bubbling away there on the condenser. So, another rotten condenser. 11 year old car. Pretty standard stuff, really. So, yeah, if the customer wants this fixed, it's a new condenser. So if you're still using uh, analog gauges to find a, a drop of less than one psi, uh, especially as the vehicle cools and the and the temperature drops, um, I, you know I'm sure in the past I've I've thought vehicles were sound and gassed them when they indeed weren't. So uh, digital just gives you that next level of uh, accuracy. So yeah, another one found. 
Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.